Hello friends, welcome back to Healthy Life with Michelle. Um, today I wanted to actually bring you guys in deeper into my devotional option that I had suggested. I did a short video on this the other day. I'll show a little clip it here now. Hey guys, let's do soaps devotions together. SOAP stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. Whether you're starting out or you've been doing devotions for a long time, I find this practice to be super helpful for me. I just find myself keep going back to it. Um, and at some point, I kind of combine observation, application, and prayer into one. But you know, if you just keep going with it, it's the best surefire way to get that word in and get it in good. Basically, it's not a lot to unpack, but I want to make sure to give you guys a lot more detail of how to do it um, as I really feel like soaps creates a way that is so easy to remember to get the word in. So you're not just reading or you're not just journaling out your your thoughts, which maybe are not even applicable to the word you just read, or maybe you don't even know how to unpack the scripture. I feel like soaps creates a way that no matter where you go, it's like soap, S-O-A-P, and then how to break that down. And um, so I just kind of want to bring you guys into it a little bit deeper. And like I said, it's not complicated, but I feel like if I unpack it, you guys might ha walk away with some better takeaways about how to do this on your own. So I feel like healthy disciplines are, are never really easy to master if we don't have the proper tools that help us to just have quick go-tos and then we can have a better way of creating these healthy disciplines. So I'm going to just simply walk it out with you guys. So we are doing, today's the 2nd of November, we're doing Proverbs 2. I always recommend Proverbs a day, um, no matter if you're reading through the Bible in a year or you're going through anything else, I feel like one, reading at least one of the Proverbs a day is just such a good takeaway. Okay, so how this works is you're gonna start out with a scripture, right? You're gonna write out a verse or two, which in this scenario I did too, so that it kind of helps us um, to kind of unpack it so it's more of a detailed uh, option that we're going with. So I like to do this because you, you definitely got the scripture written out in the word, but when you write out the scripture, you're more likely to memorize it and get it in your mind and in your heart. So that's the idea between, behind writing down the verse or two or chunk of scripture that is speaking to you. Okay, and then with my observation, I don't actually write out scripture observation application prayer every time. I kind of did that in the quick short just for like a demonstration, but you don't actually need to write that out every time. In the little journal that I got for the first time I learned about soaps, it did list that out so it always reminded me scripture observation application and prayer. But my observation of this verse, so I'll read out the verse that we're going through, the two verses. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. This is Proverbs 2, verses 10 and 11, okay? And so my observation of these two verses is, wisdom is the Holy Spirit. So when the Holy Spirit enters your heart and fills you with joy, wise choices will watch over you and keep you safe. When the Holy Spirit is in you, your convictions will keep you from harm. Doesn't mean we're always gonna follow them, but the Holy Spirit is in us and therefore we have the wisdom. And I know that our hearts can be pulled and, and tugged and it's our choice to listen. That's why he is our guide. Um, he is not our mind control God. He is a, a good sovereign Lord. And even when we make bad decisions, he's still there to pick us up. But um, let's go with the application next. Okay, so now you guys have literally walked through with me my own devotional time. Um, it is just a verse, but it, this is a series, an actual 
process and application of this verse, these two verses to my own walk with the Lord. Um, and I think this is helpful sometimes to do. It's, it's not anything super personal or anything, but it's something that um, we all need at some, in some way. So I feel like this may be beneficial to, to walk out. So I, I just wrote out the application and the prayer together. <clears throat> the application of this would be, I have seen this wisdom at work in my life in the big ways keeping me from harm. But I ask for it in the smaller details of my life now as I'm growing in my faith. So I just, pray, I just prayed out, Lord, let's go deeper in my understanding of you and your wisdom in my life. Keep me from harm in my words and in my countenance. In all ways, I will follow you. Amen. So, um, you know, I want to make sure to go over this too because I know that the, the pastor who gave us a soaps, like for the first time, the soaps journals, um, he explained that you know, as he's gotten more mature in his life and his walk with the Lord, he kind of got to a point where he was finding himself writing out the scripture that was speaking to him. And then observation, application, and prayer just kind of got all condensed into one in the sense that you're observing this verse, you're applying it to your life, and you're putting it all in a prayer. Here's how you're going to do that. Lord, I see that this verse is speaking about wisdom and the Holy Spirit. It's really challenging me in my walk to go deeper with you and my understanding of you would you please move me deeper into my following of you my understanding of your wisdom and the smaller details of my life now i want more safety and security in how i speak in my countenance and the way i present myself you have kept me safe in the big ways from from big harm and i've seen that but i want more of you i want to go deeper with you so that would all go into observation application and prayer and it's just put into one and and honestly guys it's not a maturity thing to combine them it's a fast thing as you get more used to the flow of it but even now because i've been doing this for a little over 10 years um even now i find such benefit from writing out the scripture writing out the application the observation and then the prayer it challenges me to really think critically and and get it in and so and it's just an easy thing it's not like a fancy bible reading uh plan that we bought that's expensive i've literally just got my bible and some paper and this is a fancy like journal i got from amazon it's like ten dollars i might link it down below because i love these um no matter what you're journaling out whether you're journaling out just your thoughts and your feelings there's always a verse at the bottom to apply to your life and i have found that this little verse at the bottom like speaks to my life um my soul finds rest in god alone my salvation comes from him like i could be writing something and i'd be like oh my god that verse like really speaks to me so i love having scriptures on my uh journals for that reason but anyway i will link this down below and i wanted to include a fun update so i love doing this the scripture observation application prayer kind of giving you guys some bible study tools that are just so easy and applicable um to get the word in I want to do a weekly devotional with you guys. Um, I feel like Thursdays are really great for me to get these out, but you know, we're just going to go with weekly at this point and then we'll narrow it on a day. But I want to do weekly Bible studies so that we have a growing community of, of people following and getting an understanding of how to read the Bible, get into the word more and apply it too, because it's easy to read the word. It's another thing to apply it to today's language, to today's society, to our own lives and, and bring it home. So thanks for watching me today. I hope that you can start doing some soaps devotions for yourself. Maybe try it out, see if you like it, see how it flows for you. Um, so anyway, friends, have a great week and enjoy your Bible study. Bye for now. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those weekly 